Are there other super positive things as a result of uh, making a tour ADA compliant? Well, from a, a design perspective, which was from the get go, what I wanted to accomplish was a streamlined, very simple, easy to look at player, which also my brands were demanding. That once I got to the point where at first it was like, oh, well, you could put links in that whole route, which we talked about. And that's not good enough because from the get go, Matterport is not compliant embedded as it is. So I got to work with developers trying to come up with a plan. And this is the ultimate result of months. It looks like such a simple player. And it was months and all the testing, everything to put that together. It was a big relief to finally have it. And I'm thrilled now that I can offer it to my clients as an option. And it doesn't have to be just virtual tours, by the way. There are YouTube videos are not ADA compliant. So if a brand got um, somebody, went, they were embedding just straight up YouTube players, that, those are not compliant. We're not even talking about all the other media that could also be used in this player. But some of the key functions change, like the audio description. If somebody were doing that to this video where we're talking now, that description would be, there are two guys on the screen. One very of them has some guys, two very two, right, right. They, one's wearing a red shirt, one's wearing a blue jacket with a white shirt. Like they would be literally talking about all the things happening, and they're talking about this. So it gets way deep, but this is focused obviously on virtual tours. 